Whether you're saving up for a big purchase, retirement, or just want more financial freedom, starting a side hustle is a great way to add an additional stream to your income. There are a ton of gig options out there with various time commitments, and it can be kind of confusing to keep them all straight. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about 12 ways you can make money online, offline, or at home, and tackle how to get started so you can choose an option that best fits your life. Hey, I'm Nikita, and welcome to Nerd Wallet. If you're new here, welcome again. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all sorts of future Nerd Wallet personal finance content. Now, millions of working Americans also have a side hustle to help make ends meet. But I want to talk about a few different ways you can do that because online is great for a lot of side hustlers, but it's not for everyone. Like, if you stare at a computer all day for your nine to five, maybe you want to do something different on the side. I'm gonna start with online ideas though, since that's kind of the sweet spot for most people in the side gig world. But then we'll discuss options that are not online, but still from home. And then we'll wrap it all up with some options that you can do outside of the home. All right, how to make money online. One, offer freelance services online. There are several online platforms like freelancer.com, Upwork, and Fiverr that allow you to offer freelance services. You can offer a wide range of creative and administrative services. And this can be a great way to monetize your creative endeavors if you're a writer or designer, but also a great way to find a consistent stream of clients if you're a virtual assistant or maybe a marketing pro. The sites are free to use and they earn their money by taking a percentage of your earnings. So you have nothing to lose by creating an account. And if you're fluent in other languages, be sure to check out Gingo or Blend Express for even more visibility. You can be up and running on a freelance site in less than a day, but it can be a tough time landing that first sale. Be sure to have a killer profile to encourage clients to take a chance on a newbie to the site. And when you do get that first client, wow them so they leave you a great review. Two, another gig idea if you have artistic abilities to flex is to sell on Etsy. Etsy is an online marketplace for artists to sell their home goods, art, knickknacks, and more. I'm not crafty enough to sell on Etsy, but it's one of my favorite sites to buy things. And I'm not alone. Etsy had about 96 million active buyers in 2021. Just like a freelancer site, it can take a while to get noticed due to the sheer size of the marketplace. The next idea is to find ways to monetize your hobbies. Like if you're into gaming and you have an active Twitch following, consider monetizing your channel to earn money doing what you love. Or if you're a photographer, start selling your photography to be printed on t-shirts, mugs, and other products. Sites like Smug Mug and Fine Art America are just a couple of the many sites that you can use. You'll need to have a library of images ready to upload, and buyers need to find you and like your work, which can take time. Photography and gaming are just examples, by the way. There are a ton of options out there that involve ways to monetize your hobbies, even if your hobby is binge watching Netflix. By the way, if that is your thing, keep an eye out for Netflix tagger opportunities. Four, you can also test websites and apps to make income. Sites like usertesting.com will pay you for your opinions on how well or not so well a website or app performs. There's a test to take in order to be able to complete projects and the approval time can fluctuate, but it's easy to get set up. Once you're approved and complete the screening questions, you can start being matched with tests and the amount you'll make will vary per test. And our last online gig idea is to monetize your social media accounts. If you have a good following on Instagram or TikTok, you could be a great fit for companies seeking influencers. Sites like Open Influence or Aspire can help you match with companies that align with your audience. You'll rep the company by introducing their products to your followers and get paid based on the partnership agreement. This is probably the most competitive of all the ideas I've mentioned, but it can be one of the most lucrative as well. Now, if you don't want to be glued to your computer or phone all day, but you still want to work from home, these next few ideas are for you. Become a dog walker or dog sitter. Now, for this idea to work, obviously, you must love dogs. Sites like Rover and Wag help match pet owners with on-demand sitters in their area. You can walk dogs around your own schedule, which can be kind of a fun way to get in your steps for the day too. And if you have the space, you can also offer overnight pet sitting in your home to earn even more money through the app. Now, just like with any other gig, building up a client base can take some time. So make sure that you dazzle Fido so that his owner will leave you a great review. Seven, 
rent out your extra space. If you have a guest house, a spare bedroom, or if you'll be away from your home for an extended period of time, look into listing your extra space for rent on Airbnb or Verbo. If you're in a high demand area and you have a nice space, you could earn a great side income. You'll need to budget any earnings for getting the space clean between guests, replacing house goods and housewares and paying for service fees. And if you're currently renting your space, be sure that you really comb through your lease because not all landlords will allow you to list the unit on these short-term rental sites. Another idea to consider if you like the idea of renting something out, but you don't have a space or your landlord won't let you is to rent out your car instead. Sites like Get Around and Turo are great options if you opt to go the car rental route. And our final work from home idea is to sell unused gift cards. A lot of us have gift cards lying around that were given to us that we haven't actually used or only needed to use a portion of. And sites like Card Cash and Gift Cash are ready to pay you cold hard cash for them. Sometimes you can even sell partially used gift cards. Most sites have a minimum balance requirement for the card, but sites say they will pay you 92% of the card's value, which can really add up if you have multiple cards on hand. Last up, let's talk about ideas you can do offline and away from home. Nine, sell your old clothes. With the environmental impact of fast fashion, there's more of a demand than ever for purchasing gently used clothes. If you consider the fact that fashion and its supply chain is one of the largest polluting industries ranked up there with food and construction, you can see why there's a big market for the gig community to cash in on reselling used clothes. Check local consignment shops in your area for their policies on selling your old threads. You can also look into sites like ThreadUp and Poshmark for listing your items to a broader market. You'll need good, clear photos of your pieces, and you'll want to be sure you set your prices competitively if you go the online route. If you really want to just roll up your sleeves and get to work, TaskRabbit could be the perfect fit for you. There's an entire market of people who can't or don't want to assemble furniture, mount shelves, clean, move, and more that are prepared to pay for someone to come and do it for them. Depending on your skill set and your area, there could be a big demand for your services. You'll need to set up an account and be approved, then you'll be open for business. 11. Become a babysitter or tutor. If you love kids and have a lot of patience, this could be a fun side gig for you. You can bestow your expertise in math and English and more on the next generation as a tutor, or you could just hang out with the kiddos as a babysitter. Sites like tutor.com or care.com can help match you with local families. It might be a good idea to consider a first aid or other type of certification to help your profile stand out. And if you want a tutor, but you don't want to work with the youngins, don't worry about it. There are plenty of opportunities to tutor older teens and adults. And our last side gig idea is to hop on the delivery trend. Sites like Amazon, DoorDash, and a slew of others are always looking for drivers in popular areas. You'll get paid per delivery, and a lot of times you can also earn tips. Depending on where you're located, you may even not need a car. Some services will let you deliver on a bike or a scooter. There is a background check, so it will take a little time before you can actually start making the deliveries. And there you go, 12 gig ideas for making extra money. Adding an additional stream of income is a great option to save up extra money, pay off debts, or reach whatever goals you have in life just a little bit faster. Whichever route you choose to go, don't stress it. I know that starting something new can be a little bit overwhelming, but you've got this. Just keep remembering your why to help keep yourself motivated. And remember, if you choose to offer a service, make sure you're doing your research to know that you are providing a competitive price and be certain that the effort is actually worth the reward. And if you're using any online platforms, make sure you comb through those fine prints so that you know exactly what you're signing up for. If I missed a side gig idea that you think is worth mentioning, drop it down in the comments below. And if you want to see our full list that has a ton of other ideas, I'll drop the link to the full article down in the description below. See you next time.